back to the extraction point. We're on our own. Yeah, that's right. It's here. We're getting dead or alive. Check. Dead or alive. I don't like this. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, and I know where the targets are. This is just a place here. It's ours. Over to the entrance. On me. Alright, really hope he's here. What the fuck? Yeah. He's blowing his palace up. Yeah. Fire. What's the call? Move up. This is the entrance. Trust me, get the next track ready. Bubba's coming to you. Roger. Owned his ass. <laughs> Went to sleep. Went to permanent sleep. Ryan, three high, then we're coming after you. Jack, reach out me. Fuck! He can try to kill us. I tried to kill him. <laughs> What an asshole. They're all dead. Bitch, you're getting away. Oh, he's on fire. Completely burnt to death. <sighs> What's down here? Oh shit. Wall shot. Nice bullshit. Whoa! Come on, we gotta hurry this fucking thing up. I shot him a hundred times in the head. Why is your taint in my face? Alright, this has got to be it. The final breach. Let's do this. Yeah. You said it, go face. Rabbit. Remember Rabbit from the last game? He's got a bomb on him. Sick fuck. Yeah, Rabbit was from the last game. Terror plans, look at this. All over the world he had different things planned. Completed the campaign. Let him rot. And Warfighter. Finished all Preacher's Myth. Oh, no. Oh, there's three different ones. Completed Shut It Down. Feature, finished all the Preacher's Missions. And completed the campaign. All right. Fucked him. Shot him right in the face. Well, he deserved it. Piece of shit. For Rabbit. Rabbit was from the first game. That's right. I remember that now.
least he gets a proper burial. The hero that he is. Superheroes exist. They walk among us every day, ready to defend our great nation and its citizens at a moment's notice. Their husbands, fathers, brothers, and sons capable of staring death in the face and still come home to rock their newborn infant to sleep in the same day. This kind of warrior cannot be manufactured or purchased. They're born into this life, blessed with a higher sense of purpose and the understanding of exactly what their fate may hold. We choose to share this life with them because we'd rather love an extraordinary man for a brief moment than spend a lifetime with a man far more ordinary. You can never be prepared for certain events in life. They change you and their consequences turn your world upside down. Meeting your husband's casket as he makes his final journey home. The prospect of raising your children alone. Living the rest of your days without the one person that loved you unconditionally and never let you down. In truth, these men never let anyone down, which is why they are no longer here today. These amazing warriors chose to spend their brief but amazing lives with us. We raised their children. We honor and remember them. We live in the present and we look to the future. They knew we would have the strength to carry on in the face of tragedy and to become stronger and more amazing versions of ourselves. They know we would never be defined by their passing but inspired by their memory to live more fully and to make each moment we are given count. Stacy. German authorities have stated the men, all between the ages of 18 and 35, were in the country on student visas. This is the seventh arrest in as many days. Sources are saying they're the result of battlefield intelligence gathered very recently. While huh. details are being kept under wraps, we can verify that joint efforts between the military and the intelligence have played a large role in this. Take me down to the river bend. Damn. That was a sad ending. Take me down to the fighting end. Wash the poison but from off my skin. He gets to spend time with his family now. <laughs> and you see the happy ending that even though all the sacrifice and all the torment and all the bullshit they had to go through, they actually shut down a terror network because of it. Probably saved thousands of lives in the process. The campaign's all right. It's got highs and it's got lows. The highs for me were some of the unique things about it. Like that whole driving stage was awesome. I've never played anything like that. A driving stage that was like Metal Gear or Metal Gear Solid. Pretty zany. Um, some of the things that, you know, the sniping with bullet drop. Some of the, the action and the missions were really good. Then again, some of it is pretty boring and generic. And let's face it, that entire mission where Preacher has to escape the fucking uh, 
the freighter by himself was complete bullshit. It was so out of place with the rest of the game. The rest of the game, you really felt like, wow, this could actually happen. And then they had that stage they threw in. It's just completely just throws you for a loop because he goes fucking Rambo. Really dumb. But uh, it is what it is. It's an interesting campaign. About the same length of the campaign of the last Medal of Honor. But it has a story to it. It's got, it was cool to see some of the characters from the last game make a return. And then to even reference Rabbit from the last game there at the end. And, uh, you know, the game is really a tribute to everyone who is out there doing this every day. You know, to protect the world, to fight these crazy extremists and, fun, and, and just people who are just sick in the head. They think that what they believe is the only thing that could possibly be right. And they have to destroy everything else. that the game is, is like a, a tribute, in a way, to the, to, uh, to the troops and the SEALs and, and all of the armed forces. I, I appreciate that a lot. You now, some of these games, you can tell. We made this game to make money. This game is more of, yes, of course it's to make money, but it is a tribute to the people who actually sacrifice every single day to protect us. I'm assuming that, that that big quote at the end of the game there from a Stacy is probably the wife of someone who was on a team like this who actually passed away. And so they asked her for a quote to add to the game. Because as you saw, certain missions, it actually said, this is based on a true story. And I guarantee you, it's the story of preacher and mother. Uh, and, you know, the, whoever it was that, that really passed away in real life, that was probably from his wife, I would assume. That was pretty touching.
all right, all right. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't wait. The credits are too fucking long. Holy shit. All these people are getting screwed out of seeing, uh, being seen in my in the credits of my video, but oh well. Complain to the person responsible for the credits. Oh my god. Holy fuck! Oh my god! I would have been here another 40 minutes! Are you serious? Oh my god! These credits are out of control! Out of control! <laughs> To all the operators of the Special Operations Community who worked with us on Medal of Honor Warfighter who cannot be named, we thank you for everything. Navy SEALs, Special Ops Warriors, damn. Alright, so that's it for the Medal of Honor Warfighter single player campaign. A little on the short side, definitely, but I think it had some interesting elements in there. The story was actually really good. So, I hope you enjoyed the playthrough, and uh, if you are interested, I will actually be checking out the multiplayer of the game tomorrow. I'm going to have some time to do that. Uh, but I don't know, obviously, when you're watching this, but if you're watching it the same week that I put it up, yeah, you will be able to see some multiplayer gameplay here on DSP Gaming. So, definitely check that out as well.